Hello, you are welcome again to the channel. My name is Blessing Ejechi. I was meditating one day and the Lord brought my attention to something. The Lord asked me, what will your wife miss about you? And as I was meditating, the Lord began to speak to me and I want to share with you some of the things that was spoken to me. The Lord told me that every man or woman ought to have something special in him or her, which his or her spouse will not find in another. There is something that the Lord has put in you peculiarly for you. There is something that your wife or your husband saw in you that made him or her to agree to marry you. There is an attraction, something that was in you. It is your responsibility to make yourself special to your spouse so that your spouse will not find another person like you on earth. There are so many marriage people that has got to carry their way and begin to compare their spouse to another person. Not because their spouse are not special, but because there is nothing or their spouse have not made themselves so special to the extent of their spouse, their significant other, finding that special thing that will bring them home. If you don't have that special thing, that special quality that your husband will not find in another woman, you are not yet in the heart of your husband. It is your responsibility, not my responsibility. It is your responsibility to develop yourself, to make yourself significantly important in the heart of your wife, in the heart of your husband so that your husband will not wake up one day and begin to do without you. There is a reason why God decided to make people get married. And as a matter of fact, a woman is a helpmate. Your wife is your helpmate. The meaning of helpmate is a person that complete, is a person that also fill that vacuum. You know that on earth you cannot put a square peg in a round hole. It's not possible. For a person to choose a wife or a husband, it shows that there is a square peg that has been kept in a square hole. The two of you matched perfectly. So it is your responsibility to continue to fill that vacuum. If that vacuum is not filled in the life of your wife, in the life of your husband, there is then no need in the life of your significant other, any need for marriage. If your partner can wake up and do without you, it shows that you are not meeting up to the expectation of God in that marriage. If your wife can do everything without you as a man, it shows that you have not lived up to expectation. So if you are replaceable, in the life of your spouse, it means you are not trying and you are not playing your special role in the life of your spouse. What should you do? Become significantly important by becoming irreplaceable. That is what the Lord told me. Become irreplaceable in the life of your partner so that you continue to maintain that special place in the life and heart of your spouse. God bless you.